Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at adding custom fonts to your website. And it's going to be done a lot easier because today we're using CSS3. CSS3 is a relatively new form of coding that brought a bunch of new features to the table. So before we'd have to use a combination of complicated techniques to get certain things done in CSS. Now CSS3 simplifies a lot of these processes and using custom fonts is one of them. So today we're going to use fontscroll.com to download these custom fonts. Uh, this is one of the best websites I found for this, uh, but you could use any website that you want as long as they support these type of fonts. You want fonts that are made to use on the web. And as usual, today I'll be using my clothing line, averagekings.com to get this done. As you can see, the contact text right here is in a custom font. And this font right here is called Ballpark. So I'm going to click on Popular. And if we scroll down, we'll find that font. We'll click on that. And what we're going to do is click on Add Font Face Kit. And it'll say Choose a Subset. Of course, we want English. And it'll say Choose Font Formats. Now what I'm going to do is download three out of these four fonts. Uh, certain types of these fonts only work in certain browsers. So for example, the TTF font works in most browsers except Internet Explorer and the iPhone. The EOT font uses Internet Explorer only and the SVG font is for iPhone and iPad. So we pretty much have everything covered and about 90 to 95 plus percent of users will be able to see this custom font. So with that being said, you're going to click download at font face kit and I already have this downloaded. So it's right here on my desktop. Now I only downloaded one of them uh, just so I could show you guys the TTF file, uh, but you're going to want to download all four if you're actually going to put this on your website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open up the contact page using Adobe Dreamweaver. I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 in this tutorial to edit my website, but there are several other web page editors out there that you could use. So what I want to do is scroll down and find where this text is at, this contact text. And it's right here in my div ID of contact under the H1 tag. So we're going to want to change up the H1 tag to add this font. The first thing we want to do before we add any coding is copy and paste uh, the ballpark font into our Average Kings folder. So just pretty much click and drag right there. Okay. And I'm going to close this out. Now what we want to do is head over to our style sheet, style.css, and I've already located the contact section, and right here we have contact h1. Normally when you want to change up the font in your website, you're left with a very short list. For example, if I type in font family, I have pretty much this to choose from, and all of them look very similar to each other. And that's when these custom fonts come in. So the first thing I want to do is actually add the font to our website. So I'm going to press enter twice and type in at font face and open those brackets up and type in font dash family cannot type at all today. And we're going to name the font and this is ballpark. I mean, we could name it whatever we want, but I'm just going to type in ballpark because that's the easier thing to do. And then we're going to add the source. So SRC colon URL open and close parentheses and we're gonna actually let me just copy and paste that from the actual folder I'm gonna copy that and paste that right in there so I don't misspell anything all right so now that that's added all we need to do is head over to the contact h1 and as you see the previous font family was Arial and Helvetica I'm just gonna erase all this and type in ballpark Okay, so font family colon ballpark and close that up with a semicolon. And we're just going to save this and we're done. So I'm going to click file preview and browser Safari. And as you can see, it's a custom font. And from here, we could just make it a little bit bigger if we want. I mean, you could do everything that you would normally do with a normal font. But now we have custom fonts. And that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. CSS3 really, really simplified this for us. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope this video was interesting and you could apply it to yourselves. Until next time, I will see you guys later.